Uh, hello guys, I'm on from Peso Smart PH here and pakita ko lang sa inyo sa video ito kung paano mag-open account sa BPI Trade. So yun, uh, unang step syempre punta kayo sa bpitrade.com. Uh, ililink ko na lang yung, uh, lalagay ko na lang yung link sa description sa baba. So yeah, click nyo lang yun. So punta kayo dito, open an account. Click nyo lang. Then yan, mayroon disclaimer dito. Kung trip nyo basahan, basahan nyo na lang pero like basic stuff lang yan. Then, yan. Click nyo lang yung I agree. So, yan. Merong 10 steps dito. So, first, yan. Kailangan mo i-complete yung BPI Trade uh, Online application form. So, pili ka lang dyan. Individual account or joint account. Then, itong uh, FATCA questionnaire. Uh, kailangan mo rin yan i-accomplish. So, yeah. Download lang and then print. Then, fill out mo lang. Then, itong number 3 and 4, hindi siya uh, necessary unless... Uh, US person ka, kung citizen ka ng, ano, ng United States. Kailangan mo i-accomplish yung 3 and number 4. Pero kung taga Philippines ka lang naman dito ka pinanganak, and uh, Filipino citizen ka. Yun. Skip ka na to step number 5. So yun. Uh, print and fill out the following BPI trade account opening forms. So yun. Kailangan mo yung uh, application form, FATCA questionnaire, and yung IRS forms W9 or W8 pen if necessary for US persons yun. And then, number six is bring the following requirements to your BPI or BPI family bank branch. Yeah, punta lang yung sa pinakamalapit na branch ng BPI. And then, yun, magpasis na lang kayo sa customer service. And then, and kailangan mo yung um, BPI trade account opening forms, yung nasa step number five. And then, original and photocopy of valid and unexpired clients proof of identification. So yeah, mga ID lang. Uh, actually, kahit yun na ipa-photocopy, ah, uh, Pinoto copy lang nung um nung representative dun sa PBI branch na pinuntahan ko dito sa Cash and Carry. Yung mga ano ko, yung mga ID ko. And then yun. Tapos number 7, yun acceptable proof of identification or yun company ID, passport, yan mga basic driver's license, SSS. And then yan and so on. Then for clients within the Philippines yan. Sign forms in presence of the branch officer, yan. And request branch officer to verify your signatures. And then, yan, give complete uh, signed and verified forms together with a photocopy of at least one acceptable ID. Yan, parang inuulit-ulit lang nila. Then, important, do not send your initial investment at this time. Kasi, yeah, if you fund yung lang naman yung ano, yung account nyo kapag ka nabuksan na, gamit yung BPI uh, bank account nyo. Then, blah, 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 blah. Hindi na siya masyado importante. And, ayun nga, uh, siguro mga 2 to 3 business days lang. Mapaprocess na agad yung account nyo. And then, through email lang naman sila nangyipag-communicate. Ano, so, madali na yun. Basta, syempre, meron kang um, email address. And, halos lahat na tayo meron nun. So, yun. Uh, click natin itong individual account. So, yun. Yeah, uh, medyo mahaba siya. So, yun. Unang-una, kuha ng user ID mo. So, kanyari sa akin. Uh, sabihin natin, Eman. Yung pangalan ko. And then, yan. Lay ka lang ng password mo. And then, yan. Security question, pili ka lang. Then, yung answer. And then, yung currency code mo. PHP, syempre. Then, yun. Fill out mo lang. First name, middle name, last name. Basic lang. Basic info lang. Birthday, city of birth, blah, 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 blah. Then yun, yung email address mo. Secondary email. Gender. Yun, civil status. Single married. Dito, separated, divorced. Then yung citizenship mo. And then ito. Ito yung mga numbers mo. Yung mga TIN, SSS, GSIS, passport, driver's license, kung meron man. Then yung address mo. Then employment status. Yan, medyo basic lang din yan. Then, zip code, yung address nung uh, pinagtatrabahuhan mo. Tapos, ayun. Ah, ito. Uh, investment objective and speculation growth. Preservation of capital long term. Ayan. Pwede nga piliin mo yun. Itong dalawang to. Pero ako yun, kung magde-day trade ka. Ayan, pang speculation ka. And yan, for growth. And then, source of funds. Ayan, marami yan. Business, interest, pension, regular, meet and salary. Kalimitan sa atin, puro salary. 
Then yun, lagi mo lang yung annual income mo, assets, net worth. And then, ayan, uh, kung meron kang BPI uh, account, uh, lagi mo lang dito yung beneficiary uh, account number mo. Then yung bank name, uh, branch ng bank, city. And yun, country syempre, Philippines. Then, ayan, click mo lang to. Kapag, uh, ano ka na, pag uh, may existing account na. But ayan, kung wala ka namang existing account, syempre, wala yan. Syempre, bago ka then blah 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 ayan after niyan continue ka na and pagka na fill out mo na yan uh, magkakaroon siya ng like parang ready to print uh, na file format pdf format then yeah save mo lang sa ano sa, sa thumb drive uh, then pa print mo or kung may printer sa bahay yan print mo na yan then yeah basically ganun lang siya kadali magantay ka lang ng 2 to 3 business days and then yeah email ka lang nila bigyan nila sa yung uh, account credentials mo bibigyan nila initial password tapos yung papalitan mo and yeah you're good to go alright uh, yun na yung video guys quick video lang quick guide lang kung paano magboss ng kung gano'n kadali magboss ng BPI trade account online mo lang gagawin lahat and then yeah isang punta lang sa ano sa branch ng BPI and you're good to go. Kailangan mo lang ng funds yun. Transfer ka lang ng funds then pwede ka na magsimula mag-invest sa stock market. And guys, if pinanood nyo yung buong video, na-appreciate ko yun. Thank you very much. And uh, huwag nyo na rin kalimutan mag-subscribe kung gusto nyo pa ng uh, mga videos na tulad nito in the future. And syempre, give this video a thumbs up na rin kasi makakatulong yun sa channel. Again, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be peso smart.